Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Science of Harrow. The show where I teach you about everything Harrow ignores because he's too busy solving mysterious crimes and drinking whiskey. <clears throat> what? We're all thinking it. He's not going to see this, is he? On today's intoxicating episode, we explore possibly greatest mystery of the human body. No, I'm not referring to the male nipple. I'm talking about endogenous fermentation, also known as autobrewery syndrome. In this condition, your stomach turns food into alcohol, giving a whole new meaning to the term beer belly. The particular yeast in question is called Saccharomyces cerevisiae, or brewer's yeast. Now, this isn't just any old growth you'd find lurking in a certain pathologist's office. No, these noble yeasts have been used in baking and brewing for thousands of years, dating right back to Egypt, 3000 BC. In the brewing process, grains are broken down into sugars and boiled before yeast is added to begin fermentation. Autobrewery syndrome can occur when there's too much yeast in the gut. The yeast ferments the sugars from the carbohydrates, say a simple slice of pizza, into ethanol, meaning you feel all the effects of alcohol without ever even having tasted a drink. But, oh. <clears throat> but lest you think this is an endless Oktoberfest, be warned, those who suffer from the condition tend to experience all the negative effects of alcohol without the concomitant euphoria. Put simply, it's all hangover and no high. Hmm. God, I'll finish this later. <clears throat> it was Harrow, of course, who discovered the condition in one young woman who never touched a drop of alcohol. If she was drinking, then this undigested food should have alcohol in it. It doesn't. No alcohol. She wasn't drinking. No. But how? Her blood alcohol was through the roof. I think Kara had autobrewery syndrome. Thankfully, autobrewery syndrome is an extremely rare condition and tends to affect people who suffer from other conditions, such as short bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease. But did you know that you routinely produce your own illicit drugs? No, of course you didn't. Which brings us to our side note. Yes, your body is riddled with endogenous opioids and cannabinoids. Endorphins are natural opioids, working like their synthetic counterparts to block pain and relieve stress, giving you that feel-good sensation. A feeling that people chase, literally, it's called runner's high, where athletes achieve endorphin release during exercise. In fact, endogenous cannabinoids are vital in maintaining the homeostasis of the entire body, much like I maintain harmony here and balance in the Quiffin office. Endocannabinoids are involved in all kinds of processes from sleep and memory to mood and reproduction. And yes, they may even have a psychoactive effect on your body. Proof that you really can get high on your own supply. Oh, um, pa, pa. Yeah. Ha. Are you sure you haven't taken anything? Uh, nonsense. This is how I always am. 